Hey guys and girls, I'm James and welcome to my channel. Well, here she is, the DJI FPV. Guys, this thing's amazing. I knew it was gonna be good, but this thing's incredible. Uh, today's March 10th on Wednesday. I ordered it on the 2nd. I got it on the 6th, really late. Uh, so I put it all together thinking I would get home from church on Sunday and go flying. Well, that didn't happen. I couldn't get the DJI Fly app to update, to be able to update the firmware on all of this. I do have to give props to the DJI online chat. They walked me through some problems that aren't even on the instruction videos or in the manual. Uh, kind of like the old Phantom 4, there's a red button you got to push on the goggles to get it to link to the remote, uh, to get it to link to the drone. I hadn't even tried this thermostat thing yet, but uh, by the time I got all that figured out, the batteries were dead on the goggles and the remote. I had to recharge them to be able to start all over, and it takes a good 30-45 minutes for everything to update. So that took like three or four hours. So I got about 10 flights on it now, and the thing I'm most impressed with is the learning curve. Guys, I've got a lot of drones, and I fly them every day to do roofing inspections for my company. So I know how to fly drones, but I was really surprised how it only took me two or three minutes to be able to want to move from uh, normal mode to sport mode. So I've been using my Oculus goggles for a while to do eye racing, but guys, that's a simulation. This is reality. When you have these thing on, the view is amazing. Uh, this is in real world. Also, I think if you stay within the 80% of what it can do and give yourself a 10% buffer on each side and stay within your skill set, you're not going to crash it. I see a lot of people crashing these online. And another thing that really surprised me was the sensation of speed. And what I mean by that, I've road raced motorcycles professionally for years and people used to ask me, what is it like to be on the banking of Daytona on a motorcycle doing 200? And I would tell them, not that much different than doing 140. And uh, because your peripheral vision comes in, but your sensation of speed really doesn't feel that much different. And I compare that to this, the difference between 50 and 80 in these goggles really didn't seem to be that much different. So if you stay within that 80% of what it can do and start learning your skill set as you go, I think you're gonna have a lot more fun with this thing. Um, it's amazing. So I've really been looking forward to flying FPV for a while, and if you see some of my previous videos, you can see that I bought a bunch of analog stuff, and I tried, but guys, I'm not a techie. I can't solder. I don't understand doing the beta flight with the batteries and the chargers and the goggles and everything. I just couldn't get it all to connect. I uh, just don't have time. So when I heard this was coming out, I was really excited, and uh, except for the few problems in the beginning, I'm really happy with it. So this isn't going to be a video showing a bunch of cinematic film. This is going to be the video showing my first flight and what I experienced. And uh, before I show you that, uh, let me show you some funny things that happened on Saturday. So sometimes my ring doorbell doesn't work. So I left the door propped open all day long with the doggy guard. So the dogs couldn't get out, but they would bark. And I would know that my package was here. And I sure didn't want to miss my drone coming. Look who's here. Look who's here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's here. I don't believe it. Oh my gosh. Oh no, that's not it. Oh. You don't have two packages for me? Uh, just one. No. There could be somebody else working the same area. Oh no, I don't want that. <laughs> All right, let me turn this off. Oh, all this was was the Crosswave cordless Mac because the other one was bad and they sent it to me. My goodness, how depressing. Oh, I guess I'll go back to waiting some more. Why is he still here? Are you teasing me? Do you have another box? No, I was trying to double check, make sure I didn't have any more in this neighborhood. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Just double checking now. Okay. Oh my gosh. It's almost dark and here he is. No. Are you kidding me? All right. Finally. How are you doing? I've been waiting all day. I've been waiting all day. They teased me earlier. They brought a, a vacuum cleaner for my wife. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That's the new DJI drone. Oh. I'm make, making this for my YouTube channel. That's cool. All right. Do I need a sign? Uh, just need a last name. They don't want you to kill They don't want me to kill you. Right? Standing. All right. Thank you. I appreciate it. All you right. Have a good one. Woohoo! 
It's here. It's here. <laughs> so I'm not going to make a long, boring unboxing video, but I will make a video next unboxing and going through some problems that I had getting it set up. So hopefully it'll help you through some troubles that you might have. All right, we're here with Joe. He's going to help me fly this thing for the first time. Here she is. It's extremely windy, but I think it's going to work. You know what one of the coolest things about this thing is? Yeah, the sound. <laughs> Feel the force, Luke. I love that thing. <laughs> So we got there and got everything set up and I got it up in the air. First of all, I wanted to fly at line of sight and I'd put the goggles on, I'd take them back off, I'd put them on, take them back off, just trying to trust that it was really there. Uh, it's a different sensation. Like I said, I've been using the Oculus with my eye racing for a while, but this is completely different. One thing I did notice is once I did have the goggles on for a little bit, I was standing up, I started getting a little bit of disoriented. So I had to sit down and once I sat down, I felt fine. Well, that made me realize that's why FPV racers, they're all sitting in chairs when they're racing uh, so they don't get dizzy. And it also made me think, man, this would be great for people in wheelchairs. Uh, they could fly like a bird even though they can't walk. So even people with one hand, they could uh, fly with the one-handed remote controller. So I think that'd be a great thing to get involved with if anybody wants to help me. Just leave a comment below. I'd be willing to kick in a few mini drones and maybe a couple uh, minis or sparks. Uh, to teach them how to fly and then try to get them some sponsorship to get them some of these DJI uh, FPV digital drones and if that doesn't work then I'll just give them some of my analog stuff if somebody will help me get it all set up. So I went high right off the bat because I didn't want to get near the trees. It was so windy. Like I said this isn't cinematic footage. This is just footage of me flying it through the air uh, trying to get used to it. Um, started really enjoying it. Flew for a while with Joe at the park. Um, we only had three batteries, so that only really lasted about maybe 30 minutes. Uh, they say you're going to get 20 minutes out of a battery. I don't know. I don't even think if you let it just sit there and hover, you'd get uh, 20 to 30 minutes. I think you get about 10 minutes max, maybe down to 8 or 12. Um, so I brought them back home, charged them back up, and then I went to the park down by my house where there's some soccer fields. So I got to the soccer fields. Again, I went high until I got used to the area. Uh, one thing that's with the goggles on you really it's important that you know your surroundings and what's around you There's light poles and things like that So kind of flew around for a little while kind of up high until I came down low and started flying closer uh, I'm not going to bore you with the, just a bunch of footage of me flying around But I just wanted to explain a few things that uh, man this thing turns on a dime so you just kind of got to start kind of getting used to how it flies and and the reaction that it's going to do and it's really quick. It'll turn. I'm in sport mode. Then I eventually went into manual mode. Um, I haven't went in there into settings because it's not a pure manual mode. It won't do its full performance until you go into the settings and change some things. Another thing I started wondering about is um, uh, if it's line of sight, if you're by yourself, I mean, are you breaking the law if you're flying it by yourself? Are you supposed to have someone there watching it with you? I need to check into that. So uh, after went through three batteries there, I got it charged up the next day wanted my wife to watch me fly it for a little bit so uh, I flew it in my backyard. I've got a lot of water, a huge pond outside my house so I kind of wanted to get used to uh, it a little bit more before I put the thing over water. Well, thanks so much for watching. Um, me making a fool out of myself with this little drone. It's 10 times better than I am. I'm really looking forward to honing my skills with this thing and, and really being able to learn how to rip it. Uh, it's coming. The videos are coming along with a lot of other things. So please like and subscribe. Watch me make a fool out of myself. Next time I'll be using this remote control here. Check my temperature with it, maybe. <laughs> Have a good day. Have fun and be safe.